increasingly violent during their attacks on foreign vessels. According to reports, Somali pirates currently have more than 30 hijacked ships and close to 700 hostages. Joining us is Dr. J. Peter Pham. He's the senior vice president of the National Committee on American Foreign Policy, also travels to Somalia and advises governments and companies on dealing with pirates. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. It was shocking to me to read your numbers. Only 25 percent of these cases are prosecuted. The conviction rate is even lower. Isn't that the bottom line here? No one's being punished. Yes, and that's and what's really ironic in the case of the Danish family, the Johansons, who were recently kidnapped, was just two weeks before a Danish warship, the largest in their fleet, stopped some pirates, found them with ladders, scaling hooks on board, and decided there wasn't enough evidence to prosecute them, so they let them go. So if we can't do something about Somalia, we can't do anything at all, right? Isn't that where this problem starts and ends? Yes, it starts on land, and ultimately we have to restore order and rule to land. But also we need to disincentivize pirates. Right now, you've got people who are getting away literally with murder, being paid millions in ransom, and when they're caught, they're handed off uh, catch and release. So you just talked about that point right there, which is create a disincentive. Next, you say we must deal forcefully with them. Does that mean the United States needs to get involved here and take some serious action, and what can we do? Well, certainly, uh, our Navy was founded in large part to defend the right of Americans to travel freely on the seas. We've just had four Americans killed. We know where the pirates are coming from. We know who their leaders are, and yet we've done nothing to drive that home to them. Uh, we've, there's no disincentive. And number three, you say we have to stop paying these ransoms. We cannot give these people any reason to, to go on with this activity, make them feel that they have nothing to gain here. That's absolutely right. The ransoms have spiraled. Ten years ago, a million dollars was a big thing. Today, ransoms are averaging in the several millions. Last fall, the South Koreans paid 9.5 million. This is in a country where people, most people live on a dollar a day. And then worse yet is the danger of the ransom. Just two weeks ago, the pirates struck a deal with the Islamist terrorists of al-Shabaab, who control most of southern Somalia, to give them 20 percent of the take from ransoms in exchange for the right, if you will, to operate out of ports controlled by these terrorists. It seems that there is nothing being done. Number four and five, go after the financiers and restore order on land. Well, how can the United States do that? Are we talking about an act of war in Somalia? Or obviously the government is doing nothing and never will do anything about this as presently constituted, if there is any government at all. Right. The government in Somalia is more of a hindrance than a help in this. But what we do need, and it's going to take a long time, it's a generational thing to restore order to Somalia. But on the seas, we certainly can do much more to prevent these pirates and certainly give them a reason to think twice about pirating, if not every vessel, certainly vessels flying our flag and those of our allies. Right, and shipping is one thing, but if you're on a personal yacht uh, traveling, as these Americans were, stay out of the region entirely. Dr. J. Peter Pham, thanks for being here, sir. Appreciate